Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reading you a book about a great artist, Matisse Garden, artworks by Henry Matisse. So this book has been written by Samantha Friedman and illustrations are by Christina Amodeo, MoMA edition. Matisse Garden. One day, the artist, Henry Matisse, cut a small bird from a piece of white paper. It was a simple shape, but he liked the way it looked and didn't want to throw it out. So, he pinned it on the wall of his apartment to cover up the stain. The bird seemed lonely by itself, so Matisse cut out more shapes which joined the bird on the wall. As she cut shapes after shapes from the white paper, he thought about a trip he had taken many years before to the island of Tahiti. The shapes looked like the birds, fish, and seaweed he had seen there. As his scissor glided over the paper, he thought about how a bird must feel when it flies. As, she, as he cut, Matisse felt like he too was flying. Soon, his walls were covered with plants and animal shapes. They captured the feeling of soaring and the sensation of swimming, but they didn't convey the bright blue of the sky or the deep blue of the sea. So he made a new wall, this time pinning his white forms to sheets painting as painted azure and marine blue. These are original artwork from Henry Matisse. When he saw how the color brought his shapes to life, he asked his assistant to paint sheets of paper in a range of shades, from vermilion to lemon. To violet. Instead of using only white paper, he decided he would make his shapes by cutting directly into color. He tried a pink leaf against a background of orange and a green leaf against a background of black. He cut leaves of other used and set them against backgrounds of every shade, experimenting with different harmonies and contrasts, the way the color played with and against each other. What counts most with colors are relationships, Matisse thought. Green on yellow, black on orange, On blue. Can you do that? Can you try its color paper to cut out shapes and glue them over another color? Matisse cut and cut. The leftover paper fell to the floor. He realized that every shape he cut created another shape. Instead of throwing away the, the leftover pieces, he added them to the composition 
they weren't leftovers at all. You see, those are the leftovers that turn out to be beautiful shapes in the composition. Sometimes the shapes he cut were simple, like square. But when he arranged them in just the right way, they, looked, they took flight like a swarm of bees. See, those are just simple squares. Arrange them together in a swarm of bees. Beautiful artworks. What do you think? Do you like it? He composed these shapes to show familiar scenes like a woman in a room with a vase of flowers. And he turned familiar objects into simple forms, which he then composed into patterns. Woman with flowers, patterns. His cutouts started very small and got larger and then larger, as large as a whole wall, until they stretch across the walls of his studio, curving around corners and covering doors. Matisse realized happily, I have made a little garden around me where I can walk. This is his garden. Imagine this um, artwork is really, really, really huge, very, very big. And for his garden, Matisse cut a small bird from a piece of blue paper. you like the book? Yeah. I wait for you for the next reading. Bye bye, take care.